Damon, Aeon and AQ, um, the, the premier, the only manufacturers of uh, Amiga, uh, Harbour for Amiga OS. Uh, today obviously we're here to talk about the, the new Amiga 1 X1000. Um, and I know there's a lot of questions about it. But what we've got today is the development hardware team from various We've got Hyperion Entertainment, Ben Herman. We've got the two uh, software engineers, the Freedom Brothers. Uh, my business partner is here somewhere, but he's probably in the bar. <laughs> uh, and I'm here, and I'm Trevor Dickinson. Oh, a bit so, good. Welcome. Yeah. Uh, the Amiga 1 X1000 was conceived about over two years ago by Ben Herman actually and uh, Ben approached me and said how about I'm making a new computer for the Metro West 4 and I said I don't like that idea I collect a computers if anyone knows me I've got a lot <laughs> I've got yeah. about 150 computers um, yeah. <laughs> and about 50 of them Amiga all variety so as you can see I'm very sensible stable <laughs> <laughs> so when he said, how about a new Amiga, I said, that would be great. I would love to have a new Amiga computer. So, um, it was a lucky meeting because I was actually in Belgium when um, uh, Michael Bafflan of Clan, who I was doing some business with, and, and he had a meeting at the uh, with Ben and said, how about going out for a beer? <laughs> and that was the day that uh, uh, Amiga Ring just issued the, the lawsuit on the board. It's a great day. I've got this lawsuit. And I've got to meet you as well. Anyway, uh, <coughs> long story. Um, ben started looking at what little hardware part. He actually found a, uh, a CPU part. If you know more about the CPU, it's not going to be said today. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they recommended a few companies. Uh, but it soon became apparent that Varisys would be a better fit for us. They were successful, they have a good track record, they've been in business for a little while. Uh, they were also close by, they were in Europe. Um, when we met them, they had a good, a good fit for personality. They weren't a massive coat, they were just overriders. They were someone who could be a real partner. All the real partnership. That's from me to win. So, um, about just over two years ago, we started working on the project. Even before Aeon was born, even before we raised any money, even before we did anything to him, we were halfway. And about uh, two years ago, 18 months ago, uh, so yeah, two years ago we started to work, 18 months ago we started on the project. And all the physical stuff started about this program, well, about 18 months ago. So they've been working on the hardware for 18 months. We actually, they actually took that time to lay out the board, draw the design, lay out the board, do the testing. The testing is very extensive. They've got a fantastic track record of developing the high cost. And they've put out a quality product. So they wouldn't give it to us until they were happy that it worked. So at the end of last year, the first board went to three brothers, and they've had it in their hands since the last year. Just as a seat of website, it's enthusiastic. For me in particular, it's definitely for me. So I'd like to say thank you for coming. We have Varysis here, the managing director, and the technical director of Varysis, Paul Jensen, and I have a um, director of uh, Aeon Technology and also um, managing partner of Hyperion Entertainment, Ben Herman, who in his spare time is uh, uh, a lawyer, but that sounds terrible. <laughs> He's actually uh, intellectual property. Intellectual property. <laughs> That's his real job. My other thing is not Tony Moore is around here somewhere, but I've just been so far. Uh, the Freedom Brothers are here somewhere. Uh, hiding somewhere. Uh, two, AQ, uh, two of the AQ's managing partners are here. Uh, Enrico and Matt. And then, uh, you know, if you don't want to buy it this today, well, you can always buy it. Uh, down, the expert products and the show them.